Hey guys, Bice Pump here. Wanted to bring you a quick video to talk about a recent hotfix which quite significantly buffed the four piece for us in specific circumstances. It reads as the following. So the four piece set bonus, harvest time will now be correctly applied when a target is killed by Soul Reaper. This essentially means that if any target dies from the initial hit of Soul Reaper, you still get the tear piece effect. You actually also get the Runic Corruption effect, which you didn't get otherwise. To understand this, so previously, or Soul Reaper as an ability hits twice generally. It hits as you use it, and it deals like half a skirt strike in total damage, applies the debuff, and then after 5 seconds, if the target is below 35% health, it hits again. The issue was that if that initial hit killed your target, you didn't get the debuff applied and therefore didn't get any effect of, you know, it dying, whatever. So if you hit Soul Reap on something that instilled from it, you wouldn't get Runic Corruption. And this translated to the four piece as well. So if you use Soul Reap on a very low health target, you wouldn't get the four set bonus. However, this has now changed and it has an impact in um, two specific scenarios. So first of all, Explosives in Mythic Plus. Previously, if you saw Reaper Dose, it would just kill them and you would get no benefit. However, with this four piece, this change, you can now saw Reaper them and get eight seconds of 50% pet damage, which is huge. So, any explosive week, you can expect Death Knights to deal significantly more damage overall. Furthermore, certain trinkets actually spawn mobs that we can kill. We have the, the Jailer Maze, that when you use it, spawns this uh, enemy that you need to kill to get above. That's actually fine, even before this hotfix, because that target wouldn't die instantly when you kill it. You would kill it, and then after two seconds it went away, which meant that the debuff would be applied, and we got the, the we got the buff correctly. Another trinket day, Whispering Shard of Power, drops from Nazul in the previous raid. That trinket also spawns a little target for you to kill to get the buff and that previously would not give you any on kill effects from soul reaper now that we've changed that we can now use that trinket to trigger the soul the the force head uh whenever we want essentially however it, it's a random proc so it depends essentially how often it procs so we haven't yet figured out how good whispering shard of power is because of this interaction um very hard to say if it's going to be bis or not but you know if it procs two times a minute ish i expect there to be a significant gain because then you get quite a lot of uptime from the four piece just by equipping this trinket we obviously need to pay the cost of having a low level trinket and the effect is not that powerful but we'll see i will give you guys an update once we figure out if whispering shadow power is our best trinket or not but it, there's a potential that it actually is so all right, that was everything I had for you guys today. Hope you appreciate this video. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about it. Upvote, downvote. Consider subscribing. You can always mention me on the Akos Discord. And, you know, keep pumping. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.